Charles Dickens, famous author, begins his classic book, The Tale of Two Cities, with this line. It was the best of times, and it was the worst of times. I suppose we could say that we live in the best of times in the sense that we live in a great country where we have freedom uh, to worship God the way we want to. We have great medicine. We have great advances in technology. We have great experts even now working on this horrible pandemic that we're experiencing. But it's also the worst of times because some people have lost their jobs. A lot of us uh, struggle with financial insecurity and worrying about whether or not we're going to be able to put food on the table for our family. Some of us perhaps are struggling with health issues and, and fears about even getting this virus and other family members that we're concerned about. In those ways, there's, this really could be described as the worst of times. You know, Jesus understood that. Jesus came to this planet to dwell among us. And he took on human flesh and he identified with humanity so he understands the kinds of things that we're going through. The writer of Hebrews pens some amazing verses in chapter 4. The writer of Hebrews tells us about this great high priest, this person Jesus, and says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our, own, with, with our, with our weaknesses. And he, he does sympathize with us, with, those, with our weaknesses. But one who's been tempted in all things, even as we are, yet without sin. And then he finally goes on and says at the end of that passage, Let us therefore approach the throne of grace, that we might find grace and mercy in time of need. The way that's written, it's written in a way that says to find grace and help and mercy in the time where we need it most. And I think some of us would say, I need it now. You know, Jesus is our great high priest. He took on human flesh so that he could dwell among us. And he understands the weaknesses that we have. He understands our fears, our hurts, our confusion, our disappointments, our sadness. And there's some of you who are sad right now with all that's going on. But Jesus says in this passage, don't quit. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Why? Because I've been there. I've been there. I can identify with you and I want to draw close to you and have a relationship with you and love you and offer my grace and mercy to you in these times. There are a couple of takeaways that I'd like to suggest as we conclude our, our time this morning. And first of all is that as a Christian, you are not alone. You have a great high priest. His name is Jesus. He is the God-man who is interceding for you 24-7. And he says, come to me. Cry out to me. Offer your concerns to me, and I'll hear those. And secondly, he says that when we find ourselves in our greatest needs, go to him and offer those to him. Because what he tells us is this, is that when we draw near to him and offer him our needs, he is a loving a faithful high priest who says, I will offer you grace and mercy to help in those times where you need it the most. And folks, there are many of us that really need it right now. And so I'd encourage you this morning to draw near to Jesus, draw near to your great high priest, cry out to him because he hears you and he wants to be there to minister to you.